Hi everyone, welcome to this video tutorial for our cat heart headband or collar. So I've got it on Melbourne as a collar right now because it's very unlikely I could film this with it as a headband. But um, she lets me take some photos of it as a headband and it's super cute. But if you like this tutorial, please like, share and subscribe and I hope to catch you soon. Thanks, bye. Okay, so for this project you'll need some yarn. I'm using this bulky weight acrylic nylon blend. It works up really well for this project. It gives it a, um, a sturdiness that works really well for this project. It allows the heart to sit up nice and, um, you know, nice and prominently and it gives the headband part some texture. Um, you could go a lighter weight yarn, no problem. You perhaps would consider doubling the strands. Or you could try this out in a lighter weight yarn. I've done it in lighter weight. It doesn't give the, it doesn't allow the heart to sit up as well and it, it the headband wasn't quite as sturdy. So I prefer to go for something towards the bulkier side. You'll need a crochet hook that corresponds to your yarn. And I'm actually going slightly smaller than what my yarn recommends. I'm going for a four millimeter. You'll need a darning needle to both weave in your ends and also sew your heart to the band. You'll need some scissors to snip your ends. And you'll need a tape measure to take um, either one of two uh, measurements. So if you're going to try this out as a headband, then take the head measurement, the head circumference measurement underneath the ears. Um, and then if you want to also use it as a collar, that measurement will allow for plenty to slip over the cat's head and just wear it around the neck. If you're not even going to bother trying this as a headband and you just want to go straight to using it as a collar, measure your cat's um, neck circumference, add a centimetre or two, and that should be plenty to slip over your cat's head. Okay, so to make this, this heart collar or headband, you'll need to know how to uh, slip knot onto your hook, how to create a chain, how to single crochet, double crochet, triple crochet, and those are all in US terms. You'll need to know how to make a pico, which creates this little peak on the heart. And I'll, I'll show you how to do that. But if you feel like you need further instruction, then please um, check out a, another YouTube video or, um, you know, any of the, use any of the resources that you've got. Uh, you'll need to know how to weave in your ends and also sew the, the two parts together. So sew the heart to the band. And... Then finally, when we create this band, um, to create this flattened shape, we'll be using just single crochets, but we'll, we'll be working into a slightly different place than we, we normally would. So I'll show you again how to do that, and we'll create this, this sort of flat aspect to the band, and it just helps it sit on the head a little bit easier. So um, yeah, that's I think all of the techniques that you'll need to know, so let's get started. Okay, so to get started, slip knot onto your hook. And then we will chain six. So we're making the heart first. Three, four, five, and six. Okay, so locate the fourth chain from your hook. And we're going to place four triple crochets into that fourth chain. So yarn over twice. Insert your hook into that chain loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through the final two. So that's a triple crochet. So place three more of those into your fourth chain. So this is number three. Oops, there we go. And number four. Okay. 
Moving on to the next chain, place two double crochets. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up your yarn, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Place a second one in the same space. And then two single crochets in the last chain. One and two. Okay, so you've made the, the first side of your heart. Okay, so to make the pico, chain one, so this is going to create the little, um, the little peak at the end of your heart. And then locate these, so I'll just pull out my hook here. So locate underneath that chain you've just made, you've got two hooks, two, sorry, two loops. And you're going to insert your hook into those loops. So find those two loops. There they are there. So there's one and two. Okay. So insert your hook into those two loops. Behind one and then behind the second. Yarn over and place a slip stitch into those two loops. And that creates your pico. And then of course we're going to move on and create the mirror of this first side. So locate that first chain, the second loop of that first chain, and put two single crochets. That can be a little bit tricky that one to locate, but two single crochets into that first chain. into the next chain, two double crochets. Oops, my yarn is split. Two double crochets. And then of course to mirror the other side we're going to place our four triple crochets into that next chain. So one and two Oops, split again. Two and three and four. Okay, so we've got our heart pretty much done, but we'll just chain two here, and then insert your hook into the center of the, the heart, and slip stitch, and that will give you your heart shape. So yarn over, pull through, and you can snip off your end there. And then just make sure that you pull nice and tight to create your heart shape. And you're going to weave in both of these ends into the back. So take one tail end, thread your needle. And I'm going to assume that you know how to weave in your ends, but you'll just, into the back of the heart, just weave down in one direction and then back through in the opposite direction. And that should be enough just to secure it in the back there. And then snip off any excess. And then you'll weave in the other tail and I'm going to do that off camera and I'll be right back um, as soon as I've done that. So go ahead and weave in your second tail end and I'll be back shortly. Okay so there I have my heart. So now I'm going to go ahead and create the band. You can just, I'm just going to shape that slightly. So you can just go ahead and shape it how you want it to sit but I think that looks pretty good. And now we're going to move on to the band. So once again slip knot onto your hook 
Now leave, actually, I'm going to leave a slightly longer tail because I'm going to want an, a length of tail that I can use to sew on my heart to my band. So leave a, leave a good tail length. And then chain two. Okay. Locate the last chain or the second chain from the hook and single crochet into that second chain. And here, from here is where we're going to change what we do, which um, will create that flattened band that I showed you at the beginning. So rotate your work 90 degrees away from you and locate this loop here. Insert your hook into that loop and single crochet. Turn your work 90 degrees away from you. And from here on you'll have two loops actually, one and two to work into. So insert your hook under both loops and single crochet. Rotate insert your hook under both of those loops, single crochet. And you just keep ro rotating and single crocheting into those two loops until you reach the length that you want for your for your band. Okay, you'll start to see that it will be this flat sort of cord. So you're just rotating, single crocheting into those two loops and working until you reach the length that you need. Now for Melba's neck, circum uh, neck circumference, yes it's 24 centimeters. So if I was just going to make this as a collar, I would go ahead and work up to about 25 and a half, somewhere around there. 25, 26, somewhere around there. So you add from the next circumference measurement that you've taken, add, uh, tw yeah, add one to two centimeters. Uh, it'll depend exactly on the proportion. If your cat's got quite a wide head in proportion to their neck, then you might have to add a little bit extra. Try it on your cat. Make sure that you've got the right length before you sew it together. If you're using it as a headband, then you would take the head uh, circumference, as I said before, underneath the ears. For Melba, that's around 30 centimetres. So as long as you go up to that length, you don't need to allow, allow for any extra on that. Just go to the measurement that you've taken. Just don't take the measurement too tightly, um, but also don't add any extra. That will be that will be fine. So for a headband, this would be 30 centimeters. Now today I'm just going to make this one as a collar. So I'm going to go up to my 25, 26 centimeters. So you, you work out what length you need and work up to that length. So I'm just going to keep working my, working my band here. And I'll finish that off camera. And I'll meet you back here once we're at the length that we need according to what we're using this for and our cat's measurements. So catch you soon. Okay, I think I'm pretty close to the measurement I want. Yeah, I've got 25 and a half there. That's pretty much perfect. Okay, so I'm going to yarn over and pull through. Now leave it again on this end a good length of tail. Just allowing for plenty to sew on your heart. Okay, so now just making sure that your your band isn't twisted at all. We're just going to tie a simple knot. So again, just check that it's not twisted and that it doesn't twist as you do this. And then just tie a second knot. Okay, so that just ties the two ends together. And then we're going to sew our heart right on that center point. Okay, so what I do is I take one end and thread your 
needle. Okay, so what I do is I work um, down on with one one end of my tail. I work into the back on one side of the heart. Obviously, working into the back side, and pull that tight. And then I work back and up through the band again. Okay, so you can pretty much do this however you want to do it. This is, I'll just show you what I do. You just got to make sure that you don't sort of skew your heart. So just keep checking where the heart is as you sew. So I just go down into the heart, back of the heart, and then up and through the band. And I'll do that a few times on each side. Oops. Just make sure I separate my other tail there, yeah. And then I'll do that on um, I'll do that finish that off off camera, but then what I do is I take my other tail and I go up and back about three times and you can do it a bit more just to make sure it's nice and secure I do about three yeah, three to four times I go up and back so I'll do that with the same with the other tail back into the back of the heart and then back up through the band And then, so keep going until you've you've um, sewn that on nice and securely. I'm going to finish that off off camera. Okay, so I've sewn back and through a few times. So tie, like I said before, another double knot. And then all it is now is weaving in these tail ends into the back of the band. So once again, thread your needle with one of the tail ends and you'll work your end into the back of the band here pull that nice and firmly work through and then back through don't double back exactly where you've come. Make sure that you're securing that well. And pull through. And snip off your excess. And then um, do obviously do your, your second tail end into, into the back of the other side of the band. And I'll do that off camera. And I'll come back and just sign off the video with you. Okay, so congratulations, you've made your heart collar or headband. So as always, I would love to see photos of your cat wearing his or her headband or collar. Um, please send those along to email catventurous.community at gmail.com or you can tag us on social media catventurous.crochet and that's on Instagram, Facebook, we're also on Tumblr, TikTok and you can find all those details down um, in the description box below. So please like, share and subscribe if you've enjoyed this tutorial and hope to catch you soon. Thanks very much. Bye. Yay. Good job. Thanks Midba. You're awesome. You're awesome. <laughs> okay. What can you hear? What can you hear? What can you hear? <laughs> Ready? There it is. Where's your ears?
Where is that? Where is that? Good girl. There you go. It's not so bad.